Paris suspect high at Boumedin caught on Turkey CCTV. Newly released CCTV footage appears to show the partner of Paris supermarket attacker Omidi Koulibaly arriving at an Istanbul airport in Turkey. The video purports to show Hayat Boumedin passing through passport control with another man on the 2nd of January. She is thought to now be in Syria. French police are seeking her after Koulibaly and two other gunmen launched deadly attacks on Paris last week. About 10,000 troops have been deployed in France following the attacks. The violence began after brothers said and Sheriff Kuachi attacked the offices of the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo on Wednesday, killing 12 people. Witnesses said they shouted we have avenged the Prophet Muhammad after the attack. On Monday, the cover of the latest edition of the magazine, put together by surviving staff, was published in French media. It depicted the Prophet Muhammad tearfully holding a sign reading Je suis Charlie, I am Charlie, a phrase used by the magazine's supporters following the attacks. Above the picture were the words, Toutist pardon, all is forgiven. Charlie Hebdo's lawyer, Richard Malkar, has told French Radio that the magazine will cede nothing to extremists. The latest issue, to be released on Wednesday will have a print run of 3 million copies, compared with its usual 60,000 a week. The satirical weekly has regularly courted controversy in the past with its irreverent take on news and current affairs. It was firebombed in November 2011 a day after it carried a caricature of the Prophet Muhammad. Security footage. Hostages, including a baby hide inside one of the food freezer during the Hypercasha supermarket in the Porte de Vincennes area of Paris where four hostages were killed by a meaty Koulibaly on 9 January 2015. Some hostages at the Kosher supermarket were able to hide from the gunman in a food freezer. Hayat Boumedin has been identified as a suspect by French police, although she left France before the attacks. Her partner, Koulibaly, had killed four people at a kosher supermarket in eastern Paris on Friday before police stormed the building. He is also believed to have shot dead a policewoman the day before. Koulibaly had claimed that he coordinated his attack with the Kuachi brothers. All three gunmen were shot dead on Friday after police ended two separate sieges. The Turkish foreign minister said that Hayat Boumedin arrived in Turkey on 2 January from Madrid, before continuing to Syria six days later. The security footage, published by Habachurk newspaper, was released by Turkish police. It appeared to show Hayat Boumedin and a man at Sabih Goksan airport in Istanbul. Turkish officials told the BBC the man was Mehdi Sabri Belauchin, a man of North African origin and that he was not on a watch list. Officials believe he crossed into Syria with Hayat Boumedin. French prosecutors said Hayat Boumedin had exchanged more than 500 phone calls with the wife of Sheriff Kuachi in 2014. French police said they had also found a second flat in Paris which had been used as a hideout by Koulibaly, and contained weapons. Not Turkey's fault. Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu said on Monday that Turkey had not been asked to deny Hayat Boumedin access. We need to receive intelligence first so we can track people. We have 7,000 people on a no entry list and deported 2,000, including French and German citizens. He added, is it Turkey's fault that it has borders with Syria? Hostages, including a baby hide inside one of the food freezer during the Hypercasha supermarket in the Porte de Vincennes area of Paris where four hostages were killed by a meaty Koulibaly, the 9th of January 2014. A baby was among those hidden from gunman a meaty Koulibaly in the food freezer. Line. Boumedin's route. To Jan, flew from Madrid to Istanbul, accompanied by French citizen Mehdi Sabri Belusin. The pair attracted the suspicions of Turkish authorities, who put them under surveillance. They stayed at a hotel in the city for two days, where Boumedin is reported to have bought a mobile phone and SIM card. For Jan, 
domestic flight to San Lier for near Syrian border. She is reported to have made a number of calls to France from Turkey. The pair did not use their return tickets to Madrid, dated the 9th of January. 8 Jan, crossed into Syria. On the same day, her partner Emidi Koulibaly shoots dead a policewoman, using Bou Medine's car in the attack. The French authorities announce they are looking for her. 10 Jan, last recorded phone call, reportedly from the Syrian town of Telabiad, not far from the border. Line. On Monday, France said it would deploy 10,000 troops to sensitive areas to boost security following the attacks. Jump media player media player help out of media player. Press enter to return or tap to continue. French defense minister, the mobilization started this morning. It is the first time troops have been deployed within France on such a scale. Defense minister Jean-Yves Le Drian said the deployment, the first of its kind, was needed because threats remain present. Interior Minister Bernard Kazanov announced that nearly 5,000 members of the security forces would be sent to protect France's 717 Jewish schools. Prime Minister Manuel Valls said synagogues would also be protected, as would mosques, following some retaliatory attacks over the Charlie Hebdo killings. There had been more than 20 attacks on Islamic buildings and 30 threats against Muslims since Wednesday, a spokesman for the Central Council of Muslims in France said. Jump media player media player help out of media player. Press enter to return or tap to continue. Chris Bachman said security was tight at a Jewish school in Toulouse which was the scene of a fatal attack in 2012. The four Jewish victims of the supermarket attack will be buried at the Givat Shaul Cemetery in Jerusalem on Tuesday. On Sunday, an estimated 3.7 million people took to the streets to show solidarity with the victims, including 1.5 million people in Paris. About 40 world leaders joined the start of the Paris March, linking arms in an act of solidarity. The U.S. government faced criticism after it was represented by its ambassador to France, rather than President Barack Obama or Secretary of State John Kerry. On Monday, White House spokesman Josh Ernest admitted, I think it's fair to say that we should have sent someone with a higher profile to be there. Police patrol in the Marais, a historic Jewish quarter in central Paris, the 12th of January 2015. Armed police patrolled on Monday in the Marais, a historic Jewish neighborhood in central Paris. Members of the Zaka emergency response team pray beside the coffins of four victims of an attack at a kosher supermarket on Friday, before their transport from Paris to Israel for burial, 12 January 2015. The four men killed in Friday's supermarket attack will be buried in Jerusalem on Tuesday. Last week, Mr. Valls admitted there had been clear failings after it emerged that the three gunmen involved in the attacks had a history of extremism. The Kuachi brothers were on UK and US terror watch lists and Koulibaly had previously been convicted for plotting to free an own militant from prison. Koulibaly met Sheriff Kuachi while in jail.